morning and happy Friday everyone. Um, it is about five minutes before we're about to go to school, but quarter to nine. Um, we are going to go to school to bring Owen and then Alfie and I will be going to a supermarket which is not our closest one, it's slightly further away but they have um, some things that the local one doesn't have like a magic eraser. Do you know the one that you see on TV when your child draws on the wall that you can remove it? That one. For that very reason, yesterday Alfie drew on Owl with the crayon, uh, which he got I don't know where. Um, so I need to get it off. I try to use like my detergents, but I don't want to take the paint off. So I'm hoping this uh, will work. Um, I also need to buy, Alfie has uh, bottles with the valve at the bottom. I, I might have mentioned that before. Um, they, usually the bottles he had from when I started combi feeding him had that's the bottle with the hole and it has a valve in it. All the valves are starting to leak and they're quite expensive to replace. And I want to wean him off bottles within the next six months anyway. But uh, we have very little that work at the moment and it's just not enough during the day, especially when we go for outings for the day. We need to have a couple more. So uh, that shop usually has baby stuff at a cheaper price. So. I'm hoping to find the bottles uh, there. We went for the different kind in the end. So I've just packed a bag, uh, so we'll go straight after because I'm hoping both the boys actually got up at 8 this morning, which is really good. Although Alfie was up in the night, so it doesn't really count as much, but uh, for Owen it was really good anyway. Um, so I know Alfie won't sleep right away, so I thought I might as well get it out of the way. So hopefully he has a nap when we come back and I can get some work done. Guess who's going on his back here? Yeah, we're gonna go in a minute. Owen decided he needed to go to the forest as we had to leave, as usual. So we're waiting for Owen now to go. You happy to go on your bike, Alfie? It looks like it will not rain in the next 10 minutes, so I thought I might as well use the bike. We're gonna go. We're gonna go, monkey. Are you excited? We are back from school and off to the shops now and Alfie's been starting to say, he's not saying thank you, but there's something he says every time to mean thank you, which is badly pronounced, but Alfie say thank you. Thank you. That's it, that's it. But he starts thank to, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you good boy. Right, we're off to the shops and I'll probably not film inside the shop but do a little mini haul after I come back. We just finished in the shops and we found everything we wanted and I have a little monkey there who's starting to show signs of being tired. So we're gonna go home, I'll try and get him to sleep and then I'll show you uh, what we got. So uh, thought I would let Alfie sleep first and then show you but he's got a second when the thought it would be a bit early but there was signs so I thought I wouldn't chance missing that space but uh, he's just two awake still so I think it's going to take another hour or so before he goes to sleep. So I'm going to show you what we got. So, food-wise, I got uh, some gnocchi and I got that for the boys tonight. Um, because James is not there, we're going to have a little party. Just uh, eat together and they both love the straws. So I thought I would treat them to that. I got this um, little cheese selection. Um, I got more bread. This are snacks I had as a child and they're very handy because they individually wrap so whenever we go somewhere I usually sneak stick some in the bag. This one is the um, milk flavor one. Some nappy sacks because we put the bin the nappy in the bins down there it's emptied most nights but during the day it would smell bad if we had a lot of nappy so these are kind of keeping everything together you know what I mean. Owen is going to a birthday party next week so I got a card for that. Uh, I've ordered a present on Amazon already uh, and I actually need socks so I got some, um, just a pack of socks. Uh, these are little wafer things and they're handy as well to put like in your a lunch, little lunch box to bring as a snack. Um, and then I found the bottles, I actually found a pack of three that was an offer for bottles. And these teats on that are the um, newborn ones, so they are not fast enough. So I just got these were on offer to uh, two packets of the uh, faster flow teats. I got him another one of his cups um, from the magic eraser thing, so we'll see if it works for that. And then 
Uh, these pens were on offer at the end of a nail and I need more um, more like gel like pen and I love to write with fountain pen but sometimes it just bleeds and this says this pen writes like a fountain pen without leaking so I thought I'm actually going to try that that was one one pound eighty for the three so it's really really cheap so I thought I'm not risking much there I got the boys some uh, Halloween bags we have some little pumpkin buckets but um, they are not really handy uh, so I just thought we get bags for this year um, last year I left it too late and then I um, couldn't find any so I thought I will use them anyway so I might as well take them when I see them and then I found myself a top which I will show you more on myself at another it's like a it's, it could be used as a jumper or as a like long sleeve t-shirt but um, it has like it's do you call that mal? I don't even know what you call this, uh, but it's quite it's quite thin, but it's very very soft, and it has that kind of velvety embellishment on the um, on there. It has the same one on the sleeve. It's like a three quarter length thing, and it it's quite long, so it goes below uh, my hips, which is a, a shape I really like, and I love that dark red for autumn. So, and that was only ten pounds, so I'm really pleased with that. Supermarkets, I I very often find my clothes in supermarkets. Um, I usually don't find clothes when I need to find some, so usually in like when it's mid season and I don't desperately need stuff but I could do with some I don't shop I don't like go to the shop and say I have to buy myself clothes I just have a look when I'm in supermarkets and clothes shop and all that and when I see something I take it and I just build it up like that uh, but I'm very pleased with that because I can actually wear it like with just a vest underneath and that or um, as a jumper you know with something thicker or but it's it's nice it's nice <laughs> do, do you know where Alfie is? Where's Alfie? Hello! Are you hidden in the cupboard? He loves to hide in places. Hello, Alfie! What are you doing? I think you have a dirty bum. Will we change your nappy? Are you going to make food? What are you trying to do? Can you close it now? We'll close it now. Let's close it. I don't know why he likes to do that. He likes to open both and then he closes both. Let's close it now. Good boy. Well done. And you close the other one too. Well done. Thank you very much, Alfie. We're going to the living room now. Let's go. Let's go. Pumpkins are in the sun, as you can see. This one is really improving a lot. I don't know if it's very visible, but it's not going orange on. It's going slightly yellowy first, but I'm convinced this is gonna then become more orange. But we're getting there. Um, this one, let's see. There's more and more spots that are becoming more orange. So there's hope this one. So far, well, actually, it is starting to see the spots there. Uh, it is starting to have more spots, so we'll see. Anyway, it's still a month before Halloween, so we have time. And I'm going to go and change this little baby because I have a feeling... Oh, I got juice as well, I just <laughs> realized that. Um, I'm going to um, get this little baby changed and hopefully he will go to sleep soon. Um, I have uh, printed yesterday a lot of sticker kits I want to release next week. And I would like to cut them so then I can take the pictures and all that at the weekend. I can do it tomorrow, but the more I do today, the more free time I have with my boys. So um, I'll try and do that. Anyway, time to pack everything up. Hello, something really excited arrived. Um, parcel, for, parcel for fan pulled in front of my house and knocked on the door and I was like, I haven't ordered anything that's meant to be delivered with parcel for. Ikea has sent me a parcel and I don't know what's inside and I'm really really excited so um, I've removed the outer packaging and I just have a cardboard box in front of me which is really heavy uh, and I thought well, I will open it live I'm so excited this is I love this thing okay so this is the box it's quite a big box really and um, oh wow wow well, wow well. okay hold on I'm going to pull, it's a crate, it's a food hamper with a crate. I'm going to pull the crate out 
and show you that. So here it is all open. I am so happy about this. So as you know, we've got our kitchen done with Ikea and they have sent us a food hamper, which is so cool. So we have those biscuits uh, we buy all the time. Proof is there. There we are. <laughs> uh, so the boys are gonna love this. Then we have, so these are, some are raspberry and some are chocolate. This is oat biscuits. I've never actually tried those ones. And then we have some uh, dying biscuits which I love, some strawberry jam, some blueberry drink concentrate, so the boys will probably have that because I don't like uh, blueberries. Um, this might be coffee. I don't drink that kind of coffee, but I will find somebody who drinks coffee who will like that. Some ketchup, always handy. A giant size of <laughs> chocolate bar. And I am guessing this is the catalog. Oh, it's a recipe book. This is so cool. This is so cool. Um, I am so happy about this. This is really good. So I hear if somehow you ever find this vlog, Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello, so we've picked up a one in school and we're now back in the car to a different shop. Do you want to explain why we're here or when? Um, to get some Pokemon, one Pokemon card for me. Oh, in the packet you get more than one. What? You get a few in the packet, I don't know how many exactly. So, um, Owen uh, has been a very good boy this week, all week, and he's been very helpful with me. So I said he could have a little reward because it's the end of the week and he's been so helpful. But you need to still be helpful all afternoon, Owen, okay? And he's been wanting some Pokemon cards. So we have looked in a few shops so far and we haven't found Pokemon. any. But apparently they sell them here. So we're going to go and see if the main supermarket has them. And see if we can get some for Owen. Oh my god! What? There's white checkers. So next time I might I can see before. Uh, yeah. What is that? And Alfie just woke up from his nap. So he's probably be fine to go in the trolley. So you can look around at the same time. Are you ready to go to the shop, baby? I can't. Alfie? Let's go. Let's go. I can't tap it. So we found the Pokemon cards. Oh, it's blurry, but we found them. And we got a container as well. We just got a plastic lunchbox kind of thing to put them in. So then they're all together. He doesn't lose them in his bag. Yeah. And we'll put his name on the box. Oh. Does all the children in school have them at the moment, don't they? Not. Oh, no, but a lot of children. Yeah. So then at least we know these are your cards. Yeah. And what did you get as well in the card, in the packet? What uh, was there as well? A Pikachu coin. Mm -hmm. The least I know I got Pikachu. Yeah. Um, this one, there was a, I think, I don't know how this game works because I used to collect Pokemon cards, but they were obviously a version from about 15 years ago. <coughs> so, um, I don't know how this game works, but there's a main deck. Uh, but you were not getting the co you couldn't see what coin you were getting, uh, and the Pokémon's inside that deck were not very appealing to him. So we decided to go for this one. So we knew for sure he was getting the po the Pikachu coin, and at least he was happy about that. Uh, I'm gonna check online though for prices because it's not oh. cheap, really. It, it was a lot cheaper on, in if my you, days. If you want a Pokemon card, just go to Tesco. Yeah, Tesco has them. So yeah, I don't know if... I don't know, we've done a few shops and it was impossible to get them, but we got them there, but it's not it's not cheap, really. I mean, if you want to collect them, it's, it's cost a fortune. So uh, we're gonna... I'm gonna look into research it a little bit, but at least... I've made him the promise he would get his Pokemon cards at the end of the week, so I, I wanted to stick to it. But I will do a bit of research to see where I can get them cheaper in the future. And exactly what he needs uh, for... They are more using them as trading cards at the moment than actually playing the game, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go home and have a look at what you got, okay? Yeah! So I'm about to try this. Um, it comes in a big one and you can... Um, cut it down to a shape so i'm gonna cut it in half and try a little piece first and then see how it goes um and see if it works and to remove the crayon off the wall so let's see if that will come off it is coming off i'm just taking some of the paint off so <laughs> to see Why 
I think there's a paint off. I think it's impossible not to take some off one. It's not too bad. Well, at least it's removing all the crayon thing. And then you can add some paint back to it? No, because there's still paint on it, so it's fine. So far, so good. So Owen is in bed, Alfie isn't yet. Uh, James is on his way back, but it takes him over an hour and a half to get home once he leaves. So I'm gonna try, um, our oven has a self-cleaning function, and the other day I was cooking things and some stuff spilled there, and he's telling me it's time to do the cleaning. So I was, I left it on purpose to test it. So I'm just gonna follow uh, the option. Remove the wash of the residue manually. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So I've removed all the bits that were sticking up basically. I'm gonna close this and then press okay. Uh, normal, this will be normal for now. Okay. And I'm guessing it takes, I'm guessing this is the time it takes to do, to do it. So the good thing is that when this is happening, because this can get hot and there's a lot of air uh, being uh, shown, it automatically locks the oven. We don't have to do it manually. So now I'm going to keep Alfie in there um, to make sure he doesn't touch it. I don't know how hot it gets, but I recommend that you don't let children near it uh, when it's on the cycle because the oven actually heats up at about 350 degrees Celsius. So in Fahrenheit, no idea what that is, but 350 Celsius or something like that, which is really hot. Um, so I'm assuming there would be a fair amount of heat uh, coming out to the other end and I have lost my child who is more than likely is trying to climb his, his bike or something in the office. Oh, trying to get my washi tapes. No, Alfie. See that little trolley where I keep my stuff? He loves it too much. Oh no, oh he wants to, okay, he's trying to put that in my washi tape box. Thank you, but we're gonna, we're gonna close it now, okay? Let's go, come on. No, we leave the trolley here, we leave the trolley. The trolley's all right there, right, come on. Let's go. Let's go, good boy. <laughs> He's actually dragging me. He's actually took his hand when he's dragging me by my finger. Right, let's go monkey. Yeah, the time is going down to an hour and a half, so that's good, because I don't want to leave it overnight without keeping an eye on it, just in case, especially the first time we use it. What do you want to bring me? Here. Here? Where we put it there. There we go. I thought I would show you how cute this is. Lately, Alfie, well, when James tries to eat an apple, <laughs> Alfie takes it off him to eat it. But I just find him really cute when he's eating apples. Look at this. <laughs> that nice? Excuse the snot and drool and everything else. <laughs> So it's quarter to 11 and before I stop the vlog I thought I would show you what the oven looks like before I wipe it down uh, at the end of the cycle. So it's now 53 degrees, it was, it's actually, it says 350 degrees away, it's actually 550 degrees. But as you can see this is all um, now burnt. I'm gonna try, yeah it's, it's cool enough for me to wipe it down so I'm gonna give it a wipe and show you the result and here is the result now I could scrub that more uh, I have I've only done the lower setting so I'm very pleased with that because it's a 
massive improvement. Um, it is a little bit stuck still on the enamel, but um, not enough for me to do a, like a high setting. So for now, it will do. And I'm very pleased. And a little update on the wall. So can you see the white marks it has left? So I'm going to try and wash it down with water. I've washed it down on that bit and it's better. But the sponge has left a lot of white marks on the um, on the wall, so I'll clean it off. I'm gonna stop the vlog here and I will see you tomorrow for another one. Bye!